What is up guys, it's your boy Jay, bringing you another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and we are on our way to, um, Guru's place, to figure out how to, actually, what is this side mission? For how long it's going to take for my dad to fully recover? Well, Vegeta said in no time, so hopefully not too long. Huh? It's a it's a Frieza dude. I don't sense Frieza's power level close by. Oh. I hope he's not already at Guru's place. You're not who I thought you were. I thought he was gonna be like skin color. Oh come on, they've got to be somewhere. The Frieza Force. <gasps> Damn it, they found me. We have to take him out. You you've spotted a mysterious Frieza Force soldier. Take him out before he does anything evil. Interesting. Twenty six. I don't know. I think I'm like level 22, right? Rogue Chef. What? Rogue Chef Malone? Is this is like post Malone, but like. Y you wanna throw down? You really wanna fight? Damn it. I'm so confused. Why is it called Rogue Chef Malone? Is he a chef? Oh. Yeah, look at him. He's super weak. Man, they're eating the mouth on a wheel. Look at that. What? Hold on. Done. He's not a soldier. Huh? No. Ow, 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 ow. Huh? This guy's a pushover. Ah. I give up. I give up. You guys win. Just leave me alone. But, but, Whoa, but what? You really gonna kick a guy when he's down? Uh -huh. No, we're not gonna do that. So then leave me alone, would ya? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Look at that. <laughs> wow. You actually listened to me. Wait. You guys aren't part of the Frieza Force, are you? I don't recognize you. <laughs> oh, right. You probably thought we were because of these uniforms. <sighs> Jeez. You trying to trick me or something? I thought you guys were here to drag me back to the base. Oh, he's trying to run away. S sorry for the confusion. Well, just make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Seriously, man. <sighs> Gosh. Wait. Why are we apologizing to him? What's a Frieza Force soldier doing out here? And why does that... Why does the oh why does the sight of other soldiers scare you? Yeah. Like I said before, I thought you were trying to drag me back to the base. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a celebrity celebrity chef in the force. What? You guys have heard of me, right? I'm the famous chef Malone. Malone? Malone? <sighs> Sorry, but we haven't heard Whoa, of you. Now. What? Guess I need to get my name out there a little more. Whatever. The whole reason I joined the force was so I could get dispatched to this planet. You see, on Namek, I've got access to special fruits that can only be found here. This man joined an evil emperor's army so he can get his hands on some freaking fruit. <laughs> I really wanted to get my hands on some, so I snuck away from the forest to, to look for them. Haha, <laughs> so that's why you, you were worried about being forced to go back. I had no idea Namek had fruit like that. Why would you Why would you have any clue what they have on Namek? You've been here for like a, six days. What? You can steal them for yourself if you help me out. I'm not pulling any tricks, I swear. What do you think, Krillin? Knowing you, I bet you're really gonna help this guy out, huh? <laughs> Music to my ears. Thanks a bunch. Alright, so I'm looking for yucker melons. Ajiza, Ajiza oranges and Rollo nuts. Um... So where can we find those fruits? If I knew, I wouldn't be struggling like I am. But according to the computer, the melons can be found in rock areas. As for the oranges, you're not gonna believe this. But they apparently grow on the roots of trees here. That's weird. Isn't that wild? <laughs> Isn't that wild, bro? And the Rollo nuts? Oh yeah, the Rollo nuts grow on trees in the highlands and ripen by falling on the ground and rolling away. So you'll probably find them in places down and away from the trees. No clue where that would be exactly. <laughs> hmm, they could even end up rolling into the ocean. Yeah, maybe. You should check there too anyway. Find all the fruit and I'll give you a reward. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, we'll find the fruit. Don't let me down, dude. This is weird. Again, another side mission that's basically just filler. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, right there. Oh, I found it already. Pick up. Is it a nut? Oh, it's a yucker melon. This has got to be a yucker melon. Ew, it's all slimy. Oh, that's nasty. What the? What? Oh, I don't want to do that. 
I mean, I, I guess. Since I'm here, I might as well try and collect them. Oh, they lead right to the other spot, don't they? They do. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. Wow, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. I need to find... Oh, right there. Look at that. That beeping is so freaking annoying. Okay, one more. This way. Let's get at Hit these orbs, though. I wonder if those guys are having what? I guess I could look too, though. Yeah, we know you're not, so it's okay. It's fine. I didn't expect much from you anyways. Oh, there we go. Is there like a faster way to go down? Wow, this is th this thing is hard. Can you even crack it open? How deep does this ocean go? Oh, not that deep. It's kind of cool. No, up, 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 up. God damn it! The controls for flying in this game are so weird. going on post malone watermelon Hi. oh my god he's colored like a watermelon wow i just took that in that's what so stupid <laughs> so stupid we're back i think we found what you're looking for way to go guys looks like you were the right people for the job you handle over the items yucker melon one bite of its succulent flesh fills your mouth with the most delectable juice and sends your taste buds to another world. For most people, it's just a tasty fruit, but for a certain race, eating gives them quite the rush. What? What race? Is it your race? Yeah. Ajiza orange is almost overwhelmingly sweet fragrance is complemented with the fresh orange scent. Of course, the flavor is even better, and its soft skin is a delight to eat as well. Plus, it triggers a special reaction in the body that temporarily increases the power of whoever eats it sevenfold. But just like the yucker melon, the effect only applies to a certain race. I'm starting to feel like he's going to make some type of potion that makes him stronger. Um. You keep mentioning a certain race. What race are you talking about? <laughs> you mean you haven't figured it out by now? Wait. That's right. I'm talking about my race. Of course. Malone ate the yucker melon and a G's orange. So what was the Rolo nut for? Oh, crap. God damn it. His key is way higher than it was before. See, I wasn't kidding before when I mentioned the effects that these fruits have on the body. I, I don't believe it. He tricked us. Ha ha ha. This feels great. Now then, as for you two. Oh, crap. I'm going to make you the ultimate fruit juice. Is. Hey, hey. With my newfound, with my newfound power, I now have the strength to crack open this Rollo nut. Wow. That's right, I needed the yucca melon and the Jiza orange to open the Rolo nut. But make no mistake, the melon will add a rich flavor to the juice and the orange's fragrant aroma will add a nice finishing touch to the beverage. So... Um. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah, I guess my body was extra sensitive to the effects of the fruit. Anyway, I've just finished making the juice here. Please take it as a token of my gratitude for helping out. Phew, that took a lot out of me. I think I'm going to take a little break. I hope to come up with another tasty concoction using these ingredients. <laughs> this guy, uh, really likes his food, eh? Yeah, yeah I thought for sure he was going to fight us, though. <sighs> Same here. I actually started to charge my key. I mean, he clearly looked like he was he was scheming something. Yeah, and his laugh sounded really evil. Whoa, now. Why are you staring at me? Cut it out. I know I'm a famous chef, but you're making me blush. <laughs> The freezer force is full of some really weird people. That is an under frickin' statement. 23,000 experience. Wow, that's not bad. That's actually pretty freaking good. Okay, let's continue on with the actual main story because that was a weird interjection. This man totally just like... 
went Super Saiyan just so he can open a nut. Someone's on the move. Wait, that power. Oh, you it's guys are. Dende. Oh, it's Dende. Krillin, go on. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it. This is perfect. Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Look at that. So if they killed all the Namekians, they wouldn't have been able to summon the dragon and they would have screwed themselves. And this is why you don't just show up on a planet and start killing everybody because you never know who's essential and who's non-essential. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Most definitely is. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. What about Vegeta? He said he was going to rest up, right? Yeah. He's probably still sleeping. Good. We got to make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. I saw you guys are like five minutes away from the ship. Made it. This man literally is just taking a nap on under one of the legs. So how's Vegeta? Uh, he's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. Ooh, 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 ooh. We are in the end game for this saga. All right. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, here comes Frieza. S someone's coming this way. Th they're super fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's Frieza. Oh, y'all are screwed. Hurry, did they? Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes. <laughs> Look at Nene's face. R right. Shitting bricks. They're glowing! And the sky! It's getting dark! Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth! Did you not expect them to work or something? Like... Porunga! You who have gathered all seven Dragon Balls, now... State your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans. Banda Parura, Ruti Mararu, Ban Paritsu, Kumera Tohero, Runchuro, Itash Kunspa, Pontero, Rupche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. Wow. What? So bring back Kami. Oh, no! If you bring back Kami, the Dragon Balls will go back to Earth. You can use those Dragon See, Balls. They can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry. Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo. Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good, okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. And the Dragon Balls. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And... 
As for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. You didn't even know you were a Namekian until you I'm got killed. I'm stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. You have to warp me to Namek. Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good. Do whatever you want for the third wish. Dende, ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Mopuso, Patorate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Kuria Kirigo, Oteku Horoksa, Ferro Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. <laughs> Kame! Uh -huh. Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! Karumopara Akororu, Stenonithero, Hikoloru Magaka, Tamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Wait, what do they do for the third wish? Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. Duh. I'm sensing a mass of energy in the distance. Oh, it must be that monster Frieza. Bro, you just got back to life. Don't get yourself killed again. There's three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others. But he was gonna wake up and be like, God damn it! I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here. But what the hell is going on? Where are they that you cannot see this giant dragon in the sky? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. There's no night on 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 Namek? What? Since when? What the hell I was about to say. How do you not see the giant the dragon balls and those twerps? They're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the dragon balls right from under my nose. Damn them! <laughs> Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? He's here, just not right there. Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but but you didn't say where. <laughs> did you want me to have him sent here? Oh, no, no, what are we supposed to do? <gasps> Y'all got company. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! Wait. We get three wishes. So that means there's still one left. What are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Mm -hmm. This guy's like, bro, you guys are wasting my time. Man, we're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinde. Grant Vegeta's wish. I hate to admit it. But he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Why wouldn't they make Gohan immortal? Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes.
Oh shit. Guru the, just died. The, the dragons disappeared. The dragon balls, they're, they're stone. G Grand Elder Guru, he's gone. He finally died. Good timing, my dude. Good timing. What do you mean? The, what about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Huh. Uh, oh no. It's Frieza. Y'all are in for a thrashing well, now. You've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. Uh. This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale. You. Oh, is he gonna transform? Will pay for this. I'm going to make your death long and painful. None of you will escape my wrath. Prepare to experience hell. We're we're doomed. What is this power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising, and the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go! Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? Did you say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. Uh, what did you just say? He's bluffing! Relax! He doesn't have that much power! Oh, you think so? Oh, y'all don't even know what you got you yourselves know, into. I recall when I took over planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Huh. So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on, transform. Show us what you really look like, Frieza. <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. Oh my god. Mm. You're in for a rare treat. I'm not ready, guys. I'm not so many not have ready. The privilege of seeing this form. Frieza is usually one of the hardest fights in almost any Dragon Ball Z game. The fact that he has like a million forms makes it so freaking so freaking tedious to fight him. Oh, little man grew up. Ha 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 ha. 
careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. <laughs> what? Vegeta's no face. Way. <laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta. What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? Damn you, Frieza! Now then, who shall I send to hell first? How about you? <laughs> What have you done to him? He stabbed him in the chest. You saw what he did. He doesn't have that much health. I have more health. I have double the health he has. What the hell? How am I kicking his ass like this? Look at this. Oh, do not. Get oh my god. Oh my god. He hits like a freaking train. Krillin is already dead. Maybe you should worry about the giant beast in front of you that like took out half of your health with one freaking attack. Oh, do not let him touch you. Do not let him touch you, Gohan. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the hell's going on? Oh my god. Gallant gun! Gallant gun, Vegeta! Oh my god! The man hits like a monster! You're done, though. Oh, come on. Ha. Jesus, that was intense. How surprising. That little attack of yours just now actually managed to hurt. But you are no match for me. All you've succeeded in doing is angering me further. Oh, it's no use. Damn it. So much for that plan of ours. The Here comes Piccolo. The is larger now. Frieza appears to have finally made his move. <gasps> There's an energy nearby. What? Who is it? Is it Bulma? No. Oh, it's a nail. He looks just like me. Must be Namekian. Uh, no duh. So, you're the Namekian the Earthlings were talking about. They got their wish. <laughs> Good for them. Oh, this is when this is when him and Nail fuse. I knew, I knew, like I knew Nail froze, froze. I knew Nail fu fused with somebody. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. But I didn't Probably remember who. I also know these Earthlings called me here to help them, not to talk to the locals. Sorry, but. You're on your own. I don't know what kind of training you put yourself through, but your power, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Too bad it's not enough. You, you might have actually been able to take on Frieza if you recombined with your other half. What? You mean I could stand a chance against Frieza if I fused back together with Kami? Is that what you're telling me? That's right. I was no match for Frieza. But I... I got a sense of his power. There's no way in hell I'd join back with that dried up dolt. Besides, I couldn't even if I wanted to. <laughs> then... Then fuse with me. If you do, you'll increase your power tenfold. Maybe more. What? Fuse with you? There's not much time. I only have a few moments left. Your mind will still be your own. Quickly! Place your hand on my body. Fine. I'll do it. Make Frieza suffer 
for what he did to our people. Oh, I'm planning on it. This, this is unreal. Piccolo's a brand new bitch, eh? This power, it's unbelievably incredible. So, so this is what he was talking about. Man wasn't lying. I'm on my way, Gohan. I'm on my way. Nail, who looks just like Piccolo. Oh, I can win kind of hey. Nothing can stand in my way now. Piccolo just obtained the ultimate power. Okay, calm down, Piccolo. It's not that it's not that big of a deal. Goku is still stronger than you. You're badass and all, but like could be better. No, no, we're not gonna deal with them. Alright, guys. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Before we get more into the Frieza saga, we will be back next time with more Frieza fights, with his other two transformations. But you know what it is. If you're enjoying anything you see, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.